I specifically grabbed an Evo to get here just so that I could go through a drive-thru, pick up a Starbucks, put on my anime theme song playlist, and just vibe. God, I miss having a car. Hi, friends. So this video is gonna be coming at you late. Work schedule has been, no word of a lie, six days a week. And last week, I just needed that day off. I, I just needed to have that day to sit on the couch. I just could not fathom doing anything beyond that that day. Hope that's okay. It is an exciting one though. I hope you guys are ready. You probably already know what this is because it's in the title. However, I'm still gonna hype it up because I'm so excited. It has been sitting in my studio for weeks. I'm so ready to play with the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. Folks, we're starting a palette potential today and it's gonna be autumnal as heck. We're just gonna get on into it. If that sounds like fun to you, then please keep on watching and let's get started. Okay, so I've kept it in the box because I just wanted to show you how cute they packaged this. The color of the tissue paper that they chose to wrap it in. It was wrapped in all this little like gold leaf. It has been like this for weeks. I haven't even unearthed it from its box yet. So we're gonna do that right now. <laughs> the palette of my absolute dreams. If I was going to create a palette, it would probably look an awful lot like this. It made quite a splash when it was launched. Hadn't heard from them before I saw photos of this. And as always, I'm late to the party. I'm sure you've seen this palette. You've seen it played with. You've probably seen it swatched. But we're gonna do the most. We are gonna deep dive, as always, and we're gonna explore every single shadow. We are going to try and just create as many looks as we possibly can with one palette. That is palette potential. I have a whole playlist. I will leave the playlist up here as well as in the description box down below. This is me personified. I couldn't resist this color story. I own very similar palettes. Palettes, and I rave about those ones as well. There's the Arcana palette from Shroud. There is the Antiquity palette from Noctex. There is, gosh, there are so many in my collection that look very similar to this. I know, I'm aware, but I couldn't, I couldn't stop myself. We've got some grungy mattes, some warm neutrals, some reds and greens, which you know, you know, I am a sucker for. It's kind of upsetting to see that this already exists because if I ever get the opportunity to do a collab with anyone, it's already been done. Let's just take a quick peek at the packaging itself. The artwork is absolutely stunning. This palette does draw inspiration from the story of Orpheus and Eurydice, a tragic love story, as most love stories often are in Greek mythology. In the package, they actually give you a little synopsis of the story itself, which is really cool. Anyway, if you're a musical theater buff, just listen to Hades Town. you'll figure it out. And I thought this would be the perfect palette to dive into to transition ourselves into spooky season, which you all know starts September 1st. Right, we know this? Anyway, there's a lot to explore here and I think today I'm actually going to do something that I don't often do at the beginning of Palette Potential series and that is to do something neutral. Yeah, I said it. We're gonna do a neutral smoky eye. I'm just feeling this warm chestnut brown, this mustard yellow, the black, like all of that is calling to me right now. So I think I'm just going to follow my heart. Also, I do have plans after this. I'm gonna go brewery hopping with a friend. So I don't want to do anything too over the top, extravagant, which is another reason why we're doing something a little more basic. Anyway, I think we should just jump right on in. Let's zoom this camera in and start putting on some eyeshadow. I wanna do something very similar to what I did last week when I was playing around with my Lethal Cosmetic shadows. I will link that video up here. I really enjoyed the shape of that look and I think the neutrals in this palette will lend itself really well to that style of eyeshadow. Something a little winged out, really smoky, lots of depth on the outer third. I've been told I should swatch more, so let's do a couple of swatches, shall we? Probably a little Eurydice, definitely Liar. Ooh, that's gonna be a nice little neutral combo. Let's swatch. Orpheus. These feel very soft, very buttery. Oh yeah. Not a whole lot of glitter. Very soft, very shimmery. A little more on the metallic side than the glittery side. It definitely feels like more of a, I don't know, mature kind of shimmer formula, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's slap some primer on. This palette has a lot of depth to it, which is really nice to see. It's definitely going to be a very bold series for sure. Let's start with Myth here and create just a little shape. This will be the thing that we build everything on top of. Not a lot of kick up I'm seeing. Let's see how they perform, but they are feeling a little more subtle.
right away I'm noticing that it's taking a little while to build up. It's blending out nicely. There's nothing wrong with it. The pigment is definitely just taking a minute to build and that's fine. It's just another way to formulate eyeshadow, not necessarily a negative or a positive. Beautiful in tone, quite neutral. I think it's gonna be gorgeous as a transition. We'll probably go back into that over the course of the video, but for now I like where it is. Let's build on top of that with Melody. Let's start building that closer to the lash line. Basically trying to build one big smoky wing. I was expecting the shadows to pack more of a punch, but these are actually quite buildable. All right, I will stop that there. I don't want to overpower the yellow. In fact, let's just tap back into Myth really quick, just to reinforce that on the top a little bit more. Liking where it is so far, it's probably not going to come together until a little bit later, just because of how much building we have to do with this wing shape. Let's move on to this darker brown called Hades. Oh, this is definitely packing a little bit more, a little bit more kick up, a little bit more depth. This is a palette where we're probably going to reuse a lot of these shades throughout the series because I can see this shadow going really well with more of the mauve cool toned neutrals as well. It's slowly developing into that smoked out wing. That built up really beautifully though. We still got one more to go, so I'm gonna leave it there. And we're gonna finish off this wing with a little bit of Underworld. There honestly could not be a better name for a black eyeshadow. This one looks very concentrated. Lots of kick up in the pan. With a little bit of caution, let's finish this wing. The term wing is very liberal here, you know? Like, it's basically just smoky eyeshadow, but I want that feeling, that shape of drawing it out to be very cat-like. Ooh, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna leave that, put down the black eyeshadow, go back into Hades, and then again into Melody. Give us a little bit more of that heat, that warmth, and letting that all blend out on top with Myth. Ooh, yeah, that shape is real nice. Moving on to the lower lash line, while we are working with the mattes, let's just do it. I'm gonna be really careful, but smudging Underworld right onto the lashes, essentially. And we're just gonna smudge Smudge, 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 smudge. The black also goes a long way. You only really need to dip into it once and it just kind of keeps going. Let's blend it out with Hades. All right, back into Melody. Gotta warm this up a bit. Not everyone has to be as extra as me on the lower lash line, but it's just my personal preference. All right, finishing it off with a little bit of myth, finally. Okay, I think that's good for now. We're looking very dramatic, but contained. I feel like I showed some restraint on this one today. I don't know, if you've never been here before, this is me showing restraint. Let's do a basic brown liner in the waterline while we're here. I feel like I approach palette potentials the way I approach food. I always try and save the things that I'm looking forward to the most for last. And I always try and just get through the things that I'm less excited about first. But now that I'm working with these neutrals, like they're kind of doing it for me. Like, you know, a palette has really nice tonal quality when the browns excite you. Like it's not the pop of color that is the thing that is exciting you the most. It's like the transition shades. <laughs> Come on, ColourPop, take notes. Tapping on some glitter primer, keeping the shape really soft so that we're not doing any harsh lines. All right, let's just get into it with our fingers, I think. It's probably the best way to go about this. Why don't we just grab a little bit of Liar? She's pretty, for sure. Like, is she the star of the show? No, but a good bronze eyeshadow. Can't complain. Okay, part of me really, 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 really wants to just do a little bit, like just tap a little bit of Orpheus. Right there. I mean, with the bronze, it might, it might go a little less green and a little more gold. I don't know, we'll see. 
No, that does what I want it to do. That's working. Translates more yellow gold than it does green gold once you blend it with the bronze. To cap everything off, let's just grab a little bit of Eurydice and we'll just use that to work into the inner third, bringing that up close to the brow as well. All right, let's clean this up a little bit, this transition. Just working those mats in kind of an angle. Just to push that shape even further, you know? I think I'm gonna put the brush down because I don't want to ruin this. I really like where it's at and I think that is where it's gonna stay. Noticing a little bit of fallout, a little bit of messiness with Orpheus, that green gold. I'm gonna call this one done. I'm gonna do it on the other side, throw on some lashes, and then when we come back, we will finish the rest of the look. Other side is done, lashes are on. These are just a couple of chopped up pieces of an old pair of Rouge and Rogue lashes. I have kicking around for this exact purpose just to do a little half lash moment thought the winged out shape of the shadow kind of called for it let's finish up the rest of the face why don't we dive into some blush and this is one that I have not even tapped into yet because I really haven't found a place for it but I think it's gonna go really nicely with this look this guy's from lethal cosmetics I cannot remember the name of it and I don't want to pop this out so I will leave the name up here it's like a nice little like honey yellowy orange moment I think it's gonna go really well so let's take this a little bit higher onto the temples oh yeah oh that's so pretty it's not very much mustard yellow, it's very goldenrod yellow. Ooh, I really like it though. Okay, I thought I was gonna layer on top of this with something else, but I really, I really like it. So I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. Let's move on with a little bit of ambient blush. Definitely wanna go for this bronzy moment here with melt. And I think I'm just gonna use the lighter side. Maybe a little bit of the bronzier side. All right, to finish off the cheek, let's do a little bit of highlight. This is Metal Moon from Fenty. Pop that into the inner corner. All that's left to do is a lip and I think we're gonna keep it pretty neutral. I've got a nice little neutral matte combo, but still fairly comfortable. This is one of the Maybelline Color Sensational matte lipsticks. Pretty standard, just a bullet lipstick, but they are a really comfy formula. This is in the shade More Taupe and it goes really well with this House Labs Rip Lip Liner in the color Rule. Isn't that just a 90s dream? And it's matte, but it's like really comfortable still. I think that's it. Oh, she is way too extra for the function tonight. <laughs> going to a brewery? Come on. Folks, that is look number one with the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette all complete. And I gotta say, I feel expansive. Like this look feels rich. <laughs> I love the richness of all of these mattes, the depth, really fun to work with. They blended together so beautifully. Definitely a lot more buildable than I was expecting for some reason. Looking at swatches, looking at the palette online, I kind of just assumed it was gonna be ultra pigmented right off the bat, but it really isn't. Definitely takes a while to build up, but it gives you a lot more time to play and a lot more breathing room, which could be super beneficial to a lot of people out there. So this feels really user-friendly already. Already. But it's true that the deeper in tone we got, the more kick up in the pan we got. There was definitely a gradation of pigmentation with these mattes. But so far so good. Everything's blending real nice and I'm really looking forward to the rest of this palette. I have no idea what direction I want to go in next, but this was a really nice introduction. So comment down below what colors you want to see next, which shades I should dive into in the next video. I can already feel that this is going to be a really fun palette potential for me just because they're isn't a shade in this palette that I don't want to play with. But I would love to know all of your thoughts. Do you have any familiarity with Lois Cosmetics? Have you heard of them before? Do you already own this palette? Are you playing with it already? And if you haven't picked it up, is it on your radar? Just any thoughts so far about the palette, leave them all down below in the comments. But that is it for me. I'm gonna head out and show up looking real extra. 
for the brewery. So this is where I leave you, but before I do, please let me rattle it off to you real quick. Here are the many ways that you can help out my channel. You can give this video a huge thumbs up. You can comment down below what you thought of everything. You can subscribe. Any and all engagement with this video is crucial to its success in the algorithm. So if you have a few spare seconds, please engage with this video. You can follow me in other social media. I will leave those right there. If you wish to support me financially, I do have a Patreon. The link is down below in the description box, along with a bunch of petitions to sign and places to donate. I'm just so excited to get into this palette potential and I hope you are too. Folks, with that, please stay safe, stay sane, wash your hands, wear a mask, stay home if you can, get vaccinated if you can. Just keep doing your best and I will see you on the next one. Bye. I didn't realize until just this moment at the very end of this video that I totally forgot to put my septum piercing back in after my call back this morning. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, something's missing, but I can't quite put my finger on it. And now I feel totally naked without it, so I'm going to 